Weddings, photographs, hey, they go hand in hand. But what happens when the happy couple doesn't get their photographs? Well, it takes us to this week's case, a case you may have heard about, a couple down in Dallas, Texas. And there we had Andrew and Neely Moldovan. And they had hired a photographer, last name Polito, and Andrea Polito had taken their photographs and uh, things were moving along pretty well. Uh, Neely Moldovan had posted a number of photographs online and they had gotten a large number of photographs that they'd already started posting in that. But then Neely asked whether or not she could get from Ms. Polito the high resolution photographs that she wanted. And she was told that she could get those photographs when she paid for the entire photo album. She was upset with that, said we've already paid thousands of dollars and we want the whole photo album and we don't want to pay any more money. She was told she would have to pay basically about another $150 or so. Okay, all that being said, she, Neely, and her husband said we're upset with this and we're going to fight back. We're going to fight back. And how we're going to fight back is with lots of social media. And that she posted lots of things on social media and it caught the attention of NBC in Dallas-Fort Worth. And they did an interview. And the next thing, this thing really escalates. Well, as you probably heard, Andrea, Andrea Poletto was saying, not only saying, but pointing out that her business basically was ruined basically was ruined. She wasn't able to get any people who were going to hire her. She basically had to shut down shop and things were going very badly for her. As a result, she brought suit and sued this couple contending that they volitionally tried to ruin her business, that they were motivated by malice in doing so, and that therefore she, Andrea, should be able to recover monies from them. Well, the case went forward, and I think as you may be aware, it went forward, and a jury there in Dallas-Fort Worth agreed with Andrea, and after hearing the evidence, seeing the way in which her business had been very badly damaged by what they found to be malice on behalf of this couple, they, the jury, awarded over a million dollars. A million dollars was awarded to be paid to Andrea. Okay, so... That's what we saw happen, and that's what the media talked about. But one thing we haven't heard about on this story, which is very important, and that is, has Andrea received any money? Has she received any money? Haven't heard about that. And here's what commonly happens. When someone, as Andrea did in this case, obtains a large verdict as a result of malice, willful wanton misconduct on behalf of somebody else, in short, a bad actor, well, that's not covered by insurance because those kind of acts are not negligent in nature, they're willful acts. Insurance coverage doesn't extend to willful acts. As a result, there isn't any money for Andrea to recover unless this couple is very wealthy. If they are very wealthy, there's a good shot at her being able to recover some monies, but it isn't that easy. And a good example of that we've seen with O.J. Simpson. Everybody is well aware that an verdict was brought against him, O.J. Simpson, for wrongful death, and the civil judgment was entered in which he was to pay the plaintiff. Well, guess what? The plaintiffs had not been entirely paid by O.J. Simpson. They haven't been entirely paid because he has been very good at hiding his assets. And generally in the real world, the more wealth someone has, the more resources and abilities they have to hide the money that they have. And as a result, even though somebody can get a very large award, in this instance over a million dollars, the question is whether or not they will ever collect that money. And in O.J. Simpson's case, I mean, everybody knew where he was. He was sitting in a Nevada prison. He was receiving over $25,000 a month. $25,000 was coming to him as a result of an NFL pension. But the plaintiffs weren't recovering any of that. So the lesson we learn here is even when a large award is given, if it involves any kind of real bad activity, malice, willful wanton, misconduct, intentional tort, the likelihood of being able to recover that award is very small. Hey, we bring you this case. We bring you cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.